Amanda Connects here. Hey everyone. How is it going guys? So tonight, Woo! tonight <laughs> we're going to do a Dan member request for, yes! uh, for Greybeard. Mm -hmm. I was going to say Eric, but <laughs> Greybeard as well. Greybeard, Greybeard slash Eric. Eric. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, he requested Queen and mm -hmm. uh, we haven't done a lot of Queen. We've only done Bicycle Race. Uh -huh. um, I did, uh, what is it called? Stone Cold Crazy. Oh, okay. Uh, because I compared it with the Metallica one. And that's it. I think we did the Ali Pata Bohemian, Bohemian. Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. So we do know the classics. We know basically mm -hmm. like the greatest hits, Queen. And we did a full album, A we Night a at the Opera. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If you want to check it out, it's on Patreon. Yes. Um, also, if you want to check out how to become a Dan member, so you get a guaranteed request. Per month, mm -hmm. check out at the end of the video. There's a little button you mm -hmm. can press. And but, a link in the description. Yes. So thank you so much, of course, Greybeard, for being a Dan member. <laughs> um, it's almost like we came up with this whole idea together. So credits to, to Greybeard as well. So we're going to do what song? We're going to be doing The Millionaire Waltz. And this is from the album A Day at the Races, 1976. Now... Greybeard said he chose this because um, this is when Queen, like, was proggy, I guess. And it's a concept I'm unfamiliar with uh, <laughs> when it comes to Queen. So I'm very, very curious yeah. to see their proggy side and and really see what, what he was talking about. So I've never heard this song from this album. It looks like I've heard a couple. Uh, Tie Your Mother Down. Um somebody heard, to love i've heard th yeah i've heard those two mm -hmm. those were on the greatest hits yeah one. good old-fashioned lover boy i don't I'm not sure but very excited to do this because i've never heard this song before right. so let's yeah there's sing. a lot of queen that we don't know but thank you so much guys for being here mm -hmm. for checking out the channel and uh let's get into it yes, are you ready i am ready okay let's go one two and boom If 
today, whoever whoever put the greatest hits together doesn't know how to because look, I I I I swear to you right now, I would have been a bigger Queen fan mm-hmm. if this would have been on the greatest hits. Mm-hmm. I would I would have been I I would have been like I want that album. I want that style because I mean tie your mother uh, ma- <laughs> your mother <laughs> your mother down and uh, what's the other one we said um somebody to love I mean yes they're great but they're so boring compared to this mm-hmm. this is like the best song I've ever heard apart from Bohemian Rhapsody yes. which is amazing yes. but this is like dun, 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 like it's heavy. There's so much it's good stuff definitely happening. Definitely a lot of changes. I love the play with the volume of the voice and the and volume. The bass, of the, that fretless yes. bass, that bass, doing like harmonics and mm-hmm. so good. I mean, it's literally like I, you know, Danny from Mexico, Danny yeah. Lopez. Mm-hmm. He's such a Queen fan, and I was like, why does he like Queen this so makes much? Sense. This now I understand because <laughs> he's like into all kinds of prog and he loves Zappa. And he was like, oh, queen, 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 this, queen, that, queen, this. And I was like, what are you talking about? So now I know we have to get into queen. Yes, more. absolutely. I this agree. is so good. Thank you, Graveyard. Thank you. This is you great. You opened our eyes. Yes. It's like <laughs> I did not enjoy queen that, that much, but this is different. Yeah. And it doesn't, it doesn't even have to be proggy. It's just that it's such a good composition i love freddie mercury's voice Oof. also that cla- neoclassical playing by brian may everybody's on their a game mm-hmm. and it's like not so radio like yes. oh consume my media like uh-huh. this is like for to this get you thinking expressive. you know yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. man okay let's continue okay <laughs> It's like doom, bum, yes. bum, doom, bum, I was gonna say it was kind of carnivaly at times, yeah, pro- of because course. of that. But it has that carnival. I think it's based the whole carnival vibe yes. is based on. And what's... the voice is the operatic like delay of the. But voice that's is... what I love so much about Queen that it it really takes pulls them apart from anything mm-hmm. else. They're literally one of the most original sounding yes, bands when I it comes agree. to a style because mm-hmm. Freddie Mercury they struck gold yes, when they met that absolutely. guy absolutely mm-hmm. when he remember when we saw the movie i don't know if the movie is very accurate but 
Some people said no, but I'm sure that he had to walk him to say, hey, I'm a singer. And yes. they're like, well, okay, okay well, <laughs> okay, show us what you can do. And then they heard him and they must have been like, oh, God, this yeah. guy is like amazing. Yeah. You, so um, everything about this song was amazing. Even I, I've heard, I've read that Ingwie Malmsteen, mm -hmm. and it's Ingwie Malmsteen, because yesterday I watched him, uh, a video and he's like, my name is Ingwie Malmsteen. Not Ingwie. No, it's not Ingwie. <laughs> it's Ingwie because it's it's Swedish. Okay. And and um, he Ingwie Malmsteen said, oh, oh yeah, I'm super influenced by Queen, my playing. Wow. And I'm like, wow. But that makes sense with the How? neo. It sounded yeah. very like the stuff that Ingwie started yes. doing yes. in the 80s, like this, mm -hmm. like the neoclassical, mm -hmm. you know, scales. And this was so good. It was great. I didn't know so what to good. expect, but this is definitely. I think it's one of the best, like, I've ever heard songs, too. Like ever, ever, ever. I think Ever? this is one of the most like, like fun songs I've ever heard. It's it's very good. I <laughs> I really enjoyed it as well. I'm absolutely going to be listening to this again. I just love that we would have never heard this song, or maybe not never, but we would have not sat down and listened to this track had it not been for you guys. So. Yeah. What a great experience. It would have taken us like years oh, yeah. or something. Because of like Steely Dan, right? Like we would have never listened to all the great tracks. Exactly. And, and literally every track is great, but <laughs> who knows that, right? Maybe we've listened to Asia uh -huh. and then said, okay, it's yeah. a cool album, but you know, that's it. But that's what we, what I love about this channel that you guys are like, listen to this, mm -hmm. you know? And then we have, we literally have to. Yes. And it's, we're so grateful. It's wonderful. Thank you all so much. Thank you for this amazing request, Greybeard. This was wonderful. You know us very well. You knew exactly that um, this would take us by surprise. And it was a pleasant one. Yeah. All the check marks. Oh, Nick's li Nick likes like fast guitar. Alexia likes bass. Mm hmm. Yeah, there was bass, there was great guitar, great riffs, yes. too. It was kind of heavy. The drumming was hard to predict in this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> I like failed little, a couple times. When but... you said that he told you about this being prog, I was like, wow, that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. But he did mention something yeah. to me, too, like mm -hmm. in their progier days. And I was like, like well, I can see mm -hmm. them being prog. Yeah. But now, now I, I was prog blind. <laughs> How do they say I was blind, but now I see? Yep exactly Very much. Yeah, this was a great request thank you so Wonderful. much let us know you guys you queen fans what do you think about this do you like this more or do you like more the conventional mm -hmm. queen like yes. the fat bottom girls da, yeah da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. i mean everything by queen is good but let's be honest but this is just different it you is know, it's, a lot it's of very fun. different mm -hmm. very um like i said expressive of themselves of just like not worrying about is this going to be a hit or not yes. because obviously this wasn't going to be on the greatest hits it has 9 million views compared to 754 million i know so it does make sense um yeah but anyway thank you so so much everyone for watching this with us what did you think had you heard this queen track before i know a lot of you discover music because of us or with us so, so cool. um let us know and we hope to see you all in the next one thank you bye everyone bye.